up YouTube? I am back again with another tutorial and this time as you read by the title it is all drugstore. Yes, all drugstore. Look at this beat. Boom. You see that? Boom. Look. Does this look like all drugstore to you? So I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial. If you do, hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. All right, now let's get on into it. All right, so to start off this all drugstore beat, I am going to first prime my skin with Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. And I've used this primer before. It is very liquidy, but I think I kind of like it. It reminds me of Milk of Magnesia. Maybe not as runny, but it's it's like a lotion. But I noticed when I've worn it before, it does help with keeping me met. So I'm not oily. So I guess it's a good thing. All right, so next I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's the matte poreless foundation for normal to oily skin. And I am using two colors. I'm using Toffee, which is 330, and also Spicy Brown in 338. All right, so I am going to add a little bit more because I want to be a tad bit beat. Okay, so... I think this is medium to full coverage. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to make it some full coverage, okay? I think I'm looking a little flawless now. What y'all think? Hmm. Am I looking at, am I looking a little flawless now? All right, next I'm going to highlight my face using concealer. And the concealer that I'm using is the L'Oreal Invisible Lift Blur Concealer. And I am in the color 302. Well, maybe not really. I just like a real bright highlight. So maybe this is a tad bit too light for me, but this is what I chose, okay? Don't judge because I want a bright highlight, okay? We all do it. We all do it. Don't judge. Just going to blend it in. Still using this damp beauty blender. All right, next I'm going to set all of my highlighted areas with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm going to use the yellow shade in this palette, hopefully to set. I've never used this palette before, so we are going to see how it works together. And I'm just dabbing my brush not brush, my beauty blender, into the powder and then dabbing it onto my face. 
And now I'm going to take a clean brush and just dust away any of the excess powder that may be left. Next, I'm going to contour using the darkest brown contour color and the same NYX highlight and contour palette. And we're gonna see how this works. Really, I think I'm just gonna dab my brush into a few of these dark browns and see how it works. Because I don't know which one I'm gonna use, I'm just dabbing. But they are very pigmented, like very powdery. So you may have to tap the brush off. Let's see here. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm trying to see how it looks on camera. Do y'all see this spot right here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me try it one more time before I really voice my opinion. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay. It's not looking that bad. This little spot right here. Do you see this? One thing I noticed is you have to apply it with a light hand because it's very pigmented. So you just dab your brush in. My nose is running, y'all. Oh my gosh. Like I was saying, if you just dab your brush in and just like press it on your face, you're going to get that spot. Do you see this spot? Do you see that? But now that I see that you have to apply it with a lighter hand, I don't think it's that bad, but I'm going to finish contouring my face and let you know for sure. So now that I'm done contouring, I will say that I do like it. And I should because this bad boy was like $24 and I was like, what? Y'all, it took me aback when they told me how much this palette was. So I was like, it better work. I think I do like it. At first it kind of made me question a little bit because of the little spot that was right there, but I think it was because I just started off with a heavy hand and splatted right there on my face. But like I said, it's very packed. What? What? No. It's very pigmented. So you really don't need a whole lot. And if you start off with a light hand and gradually build, I think it will work. I'm really digging it. What you think about this contour? I think I like it. Like, I don't have too many complaints about it yet. This is just a first impression, okay? So if it starts to act up, I will definitely let you know. But so far, I think I like it. So now, I am going to go back in with this yellow shade, this yellow powder, and try to define this uh, contour down here. So I'm just going to dab that in there. And then, do you see it? No, I may have to. No, mm -mm. that ain't gonna work for that. So, I am gonna go in with my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. It is also a pressed powder, but I've used this to highlight under my contour before. And it really gives me that, you know, chiseled look that I want. See, there we go. You see that? Can you see it now? Defined in this contour and whatnot. Bam. That's what I needed. 
because I don't have a loose powder. I couldn't find one in the drugstore. So this is all I got. But I really like this stuff. I use this when I go out and I need to pat my face because I'm beginning to get a little shiny. I will take this out and it comes with like a little sponge. Pat it and just pat my forehead and my nose and I'm right back masked. I really love this stuff. But I just swirl my um, Makeup Forever brush in there to make it more of a loose powder. And then, you know, chisel this contour a little bit. Now I'm just gonna dust away any extra. All right, for blush, I'm going to use my Elf. Elf. What the hell am I talking about? Elf Blush Palette. So I got it that time, didn't I? I think I'm going to use this light peachy one right here. And this is very pigmented as well, so you may have to um, tap your brush off a little bit and start off light and then gradually build because this stuff is very pigmented and I love it. I don't know if you can see it, but. <sighs> there we go. Do you see it? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. And I am using the color Soft Brown and Dark Brown. I'm going to kind of mix the two and get these brows all fleeky and whatnot. Now, I started off with the dark brown, then I want to put soft brown closer to the front so it's not so dark in the front. And then start to blend it. If you don't get in focus, and you better stay in focus. Do y'all, can y'all see this dadgum camera getting me all out of focus? All right, now that I got these brows all fleeky and whatnot, I am going to clean them up using my NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Kit. And I'm just putting my brush in a few of these shades. I don't know which one I'm using. And I am just going to clean up these brows just underneath though. One reason why I really love this concealer is because it's more like a cream to powder because it dries and it does not move. It doesn't move around, it stays in place. And it's so thick that I can use it as an eyeshadow base. So that's what I'm about to do next. I'm about to add a slightly darker concealer all over my lid to use that as my eyeshadow primer. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna start off by using my NYX Avant Pop Eyeshadow Palette. And the first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is this matte cream eyeshadow. And I'm going to just place this right below my brow bone or on top of my brow bone. 
and I'm using this as a brow highlight. And I know it looks a little harsh right now, but I'm going to soften it up in just a second. But I gotta make sure, you know, this brow is real crisp and popping, right? Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to use this soft brown eyeshadow from that same palette. And I'm going to apply that right beneath that eyeshadow, the beige one that I just put on first. And I love this one as a transition color. But when I apply it, I'm going to move upwards and kind of take it almost on top of that cream eyeshadow that I applied underneath my brow, just to make it not as intense. You see it? Can y'all see what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. All right, next I'm gonna take this chocolate brown eyeshadow and apply it right beneath that soft brown that we applied and kind of inside of my crease and on the outer V area. All right, next I'm going to take my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and the name of this palette is Studio Eyeshadow Palette. That's all it says. So I don't know if there's different ones or what this means. But I am going to use this matte black eyeshadow right here on the very end and just add it to the outer V. Maybe come in just a little bit, but not to smoke it out too, too much. I'm gonna try to use as less as possible when I come in here in the eye socket but maybe concentrate it more so on the outer V. And this is my first time using this eyeshadow, so I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it. Number one, it's very pigmented, which is a plus, because I didn't know if it was gonna be. But it is, it's very, like I barely tap my brush. In. Like, let me show you. I've used some, let me back it up. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I, you can't see streaks, you can't see anything. Like I barely tap my brush in. So, and you can see all that black right there. Y'all see that? Mm. Once it's, Thing gets back into focus. Can you see it? Yeah, it did it. Like you, oof. just a little bit goes a long way. You see that? I said I wasn't gonna smoke it out too much. Now look at me. Now look. Yeah, that eyeshadow is very pigmented, and it was. I believe it was $6.99 or maybe $6. I was a little torn, but I said, you know what? Let me save my coins and try this out. It won't hurt, you know? I can always take it back and I did keep my receipt. Okay. And let's just see how it works. Y'all, all this black over here, like I added some over here, kind of what I was going for. Like, dude, this is from like two taps of the brush. So I'm gonna have to try to soften this up a little bit because I didn't want it so harsh. But this is just the black. So I'm gonna try out something else in a minute to see how that works. And guess what? It came with this little brush. Can you see this brush? Look. It has a fluffy end on this end and then like a flatter brush on this one. So I might try the brush. Well, no, I'm not gonna try the brush. Not the fluffy side. I'm a little scared of that side, but this flat side may work. So again, with this eyeshadow, you have to be light-handed because it is very pigmented, okay? Which is a plus because it looks like I haven't even used it, like seriously. I'm looking at this thing, it looks like a brush has not touched it. <laughs> I think I found me one, y'all. I think I might have found a winner. Winner, winner, checking down, okay? 
Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that chocolate brown from that other palette just to blend the two together. Now I'm going to try to add just a little bit of black just on the out, just out here, okay? Now, I'm not exaggerating how pigmented this Wet n Wild palette is. I promise you I'm not. But I want to see if it's just the matte eyeshadow or if the shimmer eyeshadows are like that as well. Okay, I'm going to use the 24 hour color tattoo by Eye Studio. And this is pretty much just a cream eyeshadow and I'm going to try that and I am going to cut this crease just a little bit while using it. Let me find me a good old brush. Hey guess what I got that brush from the Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to use that and the color that I am using is Bold Gold. I'm going to add this yellow gold eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild palette and just pat it on top of this cream eyeshadow. Okay, now I think I'm going to go back in with this flat angle brush and take that black from this Wet n Wild and maybe also this dark chocolate brown and just go around the edge to sharpen this cut crease a little bit. Now it's time for some liner. Yeah, I'm about to line these ass, honey. Okay, now I'm going to apply my wing using NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. That's good enough. That's all I can do. I think if I try any harder, I'm gonna mess it up. Mm -mm. Did I go out too far? God dang it. Okay, let's see. Maybe. I'm going to add some of this glitter from the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I'm using the glitter side and I'm just going to apply this, dab this right on top of this gold. I just want it to sparkle just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see the glitter, but I can. I'm not too fond of this applicator, but the glitter inside, yes. I love it. I just hope that it's coming off on camera how it looks in person. So this glitter is bomb, okay? Like, 
bomb. And it's very subtle, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like most glitters are very dramatic. If you add glitter, it goes very dramatic real quick. This is subtle. Like, I don't even know if you can see it, but I can, you can see it in person, but it's very subtle and I love it. That means it's perfect for every day. Yeah, well, a person like me every day, not your average Joe. Yeah, a little glitter. Now I'm going to add some mascara and these lashes. And the lashes that I'm using are Kiss True Volume Lashes in the style Posh. Alright, to highlight, I'm going to use this first shade from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm just going to use this brush here, just a fluffy brush, and see how this highlight is. Let's see. Can you see it? Just try it. I mean, but is it popping how I want it to? Eh. Mm. I kind of like it though. I'm not even that upset with it. But I wonder why if there's only one. Let me see what this is. Oh, there's another shade in here. Let's try this one. This one is a tad bit more on the gold side. Let me add that on top. Okay. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know if it's highlighting or if it's more like white. You know what I mean? I see it in this camera though. Yes. In camera, it looks real good, kinda. But in person, it's like, just gray dust on my face. Yeah. Where's the backup? I may have to just go back to my good and faithful Ruby Kiss highlight. It's the All Over Glow Bronzing Powder. I have had this Ruby Kiss um, bronzing powder forever. Forever. And I think I'm going to use it today. Mmm. -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think a mixture of them all makes it perfect. Mm-hmm. Do y'all see that? Like a diamond, honey. Yes. Yes. I think I like Mm-hmm. Sure do. I feel like something's missing. I think I know what it is. I need to add some glow right here in my inner tear ducts. My look is not complete if I'm not highlighting right there. Like every look I do, I have to do it. I can't not do it. Let's see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use this shade here from the NYX palette. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. every time. Let's move on to these lips. All right, for my lips, I'm going to apply this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Brooklyn Thorn. Make sure you can see. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. My camera just loves to get out of focus.
All right, now to finish the look, I want to spray this face with some NYX Matte Finish, which is the bomb. Let me tell you real quick, I have been searching for this for so long. I've had some that I purchased at Target, but every time I've tried to go repurchase it, sold out. They have plenty of the dewy mist or finish spray, but not the matte. So today I go in the local Target to get just some things that I needed. This sucker was sitting just randomly in an aisle by itself. Let me pray that it's not just water. Like someone didn't like go to the restroom and like put it in another bottle and then put this back. Hopefully not, but it was in the most random spot. Honey, I grabbed it so quick. You would have thought that I was trying to steal it. I snatched it because I would be darned if I walked by that Target without this spray that I've been looking for for some months now. All right, let's carry on. this makeup tutorial if you enjoyed this drugstore beat which I know you did boom get into it please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also there's a button that looks like this press that as well because number one you will not regret it and number two it's free 99 and we all love some free stuff so Go on and press it. You've been here this long. Get it over with. And share this video on your social media so your friends and family can get into this beat as well. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and... Am I saying Snapchat? Snapchat, Snapchat, what? Snapchat. I'm on there. And Twitter, all under Monyet's Makeup. So follow me. And as always, please remember that none of us are perfect, but we are definitely beautiful inside and out. One more time. Is it one more time? One, 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 one. <laughs> it is all drugstore related. No, not drugstore related. What am I talking about? What? Am I tired? Is it time to go to sleep? What? <laughs> But enough rambling, I can go on and on and on, and I'm not gonna do that today because who got time for that? We don't. You know what? <laughs>